You see those little ornaments in there? Yeah. The children next door gave them to me for my birthday. They're very Wasn't sweet. that sweet? They look good underneath the fringe of panty. How long's that been in? They do. Well, it's pretty old. Nearly as old as me. <laughs> Imagine this, the year's 1950, you're 30 years old, and you're about to move into your first house. You desperately want to create a garden, and you wonder what it's going to look like into the future. Well, ponder no more. Fast forward to the here and now, because we're on our way to see the garden, meet the gardener, and lend a hand. This is Phyllis Thompson. And yes, she's lived here since 1950. And yes, if you added up the clues, that does make her 100. And this tells you a lot about gardening as a passion. After 70 years, she still enjoys planting, watching them grow, and of course, painting gnomes. They look good underneath the fringe of panty. They, How long's that been in? They do. Well, it's pretty old. Nearly as old as me. <laughs> Did you have a plan for the garden when you set out? Well, in those days, we didn't have a lot of money, so you made use of what you could find. And we didn't have anything expensive, just as long as it was a flower or a shrub, that was enough. I really love your arbour here. Yes, I love it too, but the trouble is, it needs cutting. It was lovely on my birthday, but I'm afraid it's not lovely now. Yeah, and there's a few shoots that need to be trimmed back, I can see that. Yes, and, and what I'd like to say to you is, cut it straight, will you? Because I can't stand looking at it if it's not straight. That's an order. That's coming from a centenarian. I'm going to get it straight, I promise. I promise I'll get it straight, Phyllis. Well, that's OK. What's it like maintaining a garden at 100? Have things changed? Well, you get a bit tired sometimes, but you sort of put that aside and keep going anyway. But I'm not allowed to do so much now. I don't know why. You know, I'm quite healthy. Do you tell the doctors what you think? Yes. And he tells me what he thinks too. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see other people admiring our garden when they drive past I know, too. that's been funny, hasn't it? Yes. yes. Funny. Camilla Thompson has lived with Phyllis for over 25 years and has earned the right to call her Nan. What do you think the garden means to Phyllis? I think the garden means everything. It just gives her life. As soon as she gets up in the morning, um, sometimes before she's even gone to the bathroom, <laughs> she'll head out. <laughs> I think Nan is um, really a poster girl for the importance of people living at home. She's a shining example of the benefits of being at home at that age. So, is this where you hang the clothes up? No, not really. I um, shade the plants because um, I've got all these succulents there. Nice. Now, looking at the garden here, Phyllis, I notice there's a couple of things that I think we can we can fix up for you just for yes. safety. Like this, this is a bit of a trip. So is that. Like, that's not very solid for you. So I think well, I'm going to work on that. Well, my made this years and years ago. And as you could see, it all needs doing. The stakes here are really high and these tasks are incredibly important. The steps, the level changes, the slippery and unstable surfaces get them out of the equation, and that'll mean that Phyllis can keep living and have the freedom she wants to be out in her garden. The first thing I'll do is move these pots to block the edge and remove a trip hazard. Then I'll raise the level of the lawn so it's the same as the path. To give her safe passage to another part of the garden, I'm relaying some of these wonky pavers. 
and in yet another area, I'm getting rid of all the uneven, different size scoria and replacing it with arborist's mulch. Now to prune this Banksia rose with set square accuracy. And last but not least, I'm going to town on Phyllis's driveway. It was once a wash with colour and I want it to be like that again. So under Phyllis's watchful gaze, Camilla and I are planting a range of colourful, flowering, low-growing Australian classics. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Phyllis. Perfect. Just what I need. What a day, Phyllis. I, I feel like we've, we've done the things that we talked about. We dealt with the level changes, the trips, the rough surfaces, we've planted out the driveway, pruned the lemon, pruned the banksia rose to your discerning standards so that you can be out here safely. It's been a pleasure to have you here too. And really? I'm very pleased with everything you've done. And I thank you very much. Well, thank you for being so receptive to it all. If I hadn't have had the garden, maybe I wouldn't have lived to a hundred. So really, the garden's my life. <laughs>